Yeah. But uh, the way we played the game was, was outstanding. We played it pretty tough. But we, we moved the ball around on them too, which uh, made St. Helens a little bit uh, a little bit vulnerable at times. We ran in some good tries and uh, we probably let it, let ourselves down a little bit towards the end with a couple of tries, but that was to be after I, I took a number of players off injured. The, the, the way the team performed, it was great confidence knowing we were going into that grand final having absolutely played St Helens off the park. Yeah, and I think you, you either want to go into a, into a grand final with some good wins under your belt or you want to have a bit of a rest. Now, we went in with some good wins under our belt. We can have the rest. But that's St Helens one. I was very confident after the, the way we played the football match. We scored some good tries. We played tough in defence. And we just want, went out there and, and dominated St Helens from the start to the finish. And then, now, but this is Glanville on the field. Again, oh, that was half right. Francis Curry still alive. Just anxious at the beat. Francis coming all the way. But praise Mark Glanville. What a pass. And what a run from Francis Cummins. The Rhinos have scored again, and it's Francis Cummins who's got the try. And what a, what a, what a fabulous try for the Rhinos. And Mark Glanville, if he doesn't walk off with a man of the match prize after tonight's game, I don't know who will. Well, I was just wondering whether it was going to be Martin Masella or Mark Glanville, but Glanville answered in superb fashion there. All night he's been making that half break through the tackle, but great support. And so now we see Marcus Senna on a half break. Good an stuff from Marcus Centelaire there. Substitutions touched with gold. And now Sheridan takes his time and gets the ball out to Harris. Harris oh. has only got River outside. It was a hospital pass, but he goes around Sullivan as if he wasn't there. Oh, yes! yes. Leroy! Fabulous try! <laughs> Leroy River, what a player! What a player! He's, he stood Sullivan up, went round the back of Sullivan, and then... Stood at New Love up and New Love didn't know which week he was in, let alone which player he was tackling. A wonderful try from Leroy Rivett. And again, another man being backed by the faith shown by Phil Kaplan by putting him in the programme. <laughs> well, we were saying as well that substitution such with gold. But what about the selection of Leroy Rivett ahead of Paul Sterling? And one thing you've got to say there again is that it was St Hilaire's break from the back that set the position up. Information about tickets coming up at the end of today's game. But tickets will be on sale tonight. After the if game, Leeds, to see if, Leeds to win. if Leeds win, don't tempt fate. I'll not be tempting fate, but I'm tipping the boys to win now. Are oh, you <laughs> brave, man? Now, Holroyd looking at John the show. He feeds inside to Hay. What a pass from Graham Holroyd. Hay out to Godden. And into the corner, he's in touch. The touch judge called it. Oh, wonderful work, though, by Graham Holroyd. Really proving his worth in the side there. Great little pass inside to Hay. And he came through there. So they've got a set of six inside the St. Helens yes. 20. Who would back against the Rhino score another try here? Oh, Messi played the ball though. Sheridan feeds Matthew. Matthew. Oh, well. He's saving his try for the grand final. <laughs> oh, he's waiting for that one. <laughs> now Sheridan. Sheridan feeds Harris. Harris has got men outside him. He uses the man. Furness outside him. Cummins who skips inside. What a player Francis Cummins has proved this season. He's got the try. And the Rhinos get up to 38 points to four with the conversion to come. The first division and the Australian versions of these playoffs this season, the team that's on a roll is the one that's got through to the grand final, but Leeds have not given St Helens a sniff tonight, and all that talk of form team meant nothing. Now Darren Fleer, he's got players outside him, comes back inside. This is great work from Oral. Oral outside to Godden, Godden's got Cummins outside him for the hat-trick. Go for he's it. got it! Yes! Francis Cummins has got the hat-trick. A superb...